Our story started in Trinity No. 2, published in 2008, when the Justice League fought Convict, the monster who knocked out Superman. The book opens with sorceress Morgan Le Fay and the mysterious man called Enigma setting matters into motion in Los Angeles. Their plan is to set Superman, Wonder Woman, and Batman against some incredible challenges. In Metropolis, Superman is trying to save the people from a solar system which has suddenly appeared over the city and whose planets are growing in size and destroying buildings. Before the sun's gravity begins to tear the city apart, Superman flies into the sun, noticing that it is not charging him as the sun from this universe should. He moves it into space, pulling the planets with it in an incredible feat of strength, endurance, and durability. Meanwhile, Wonder Woman finds herself fighting three giant robots in Washington, D.C. Superman flies in to give her a hand, but she backs him off and destroys the robots. He questions why it matters so much who takes them out, and she explains that Amazons are in constant competition with themselves, and since no innocents were in danger, she indulged herself. At the same time, Batman finds himself atop a building in a strange version of Gotham City. He thinks that it all feels insubstantial, as if a single word could destroy it. Looking up, he says the word no, and with the sound of shattering crystal, he finds himself in the real Gotham. Having watched all of this, Morgan Le Fay and Enigma are impressed by the way the Trinity were able to deal with the obstacles. Though she is less impressed by Batman because he doesn't have superpowers. Meanwhile in the Batcave, Batman receives a Justice League alert that Jon Stewart, Green Lantern, is fighting a large purple creature called Convict, with a smaller yellow one on his side called Grack. Green Lantern fights Convict, who proves to be very powerful. He destroys the ring's constructs and knocks Green Lantern unconscious. The ring, however, sends an alert reporting Lantern's situation. The monster then fights another Justice League team comprised of Black Canary, Black Lightning, Firestorm, The Flash, Hot Girl, Red Arrow, and Vixen. He easily overpowers the team, defeating one after the other. Even Flash failed to stop his rampage, and was easily knocked away when Convict smashed the ground beneath him. Superman, Wonder Woman and Batman arrived shortly after and engaged the monster. Superman challenged Convict to show him his true power, and with one single blow, he knocked Superman out cold. Batman and Wonder Woman realized that this monster is not a pushover. Wonder Woman attacks the monster, buying Superman some time to recover. Morgan Le Fay and Enigma are still watching from their castle the Trinity, struggling to get things under control. Superman and Wonder Woman attack Convict together, while Batman goes to find the monster's spaceship. The fur on the monster's body transformed into an armor, and he has become stronger than ever. Suddenly, an arm reaches out from the bushes behind Wonder Woman and places a red sphere on her shoulder, burning a symbol into it. Convict leaps at her, but Superman intervenes, saying that they have to keep fighting to buy Batman more time. From Convict's ship, Batman reports that it is an escape pod with suspended animation capabilities. As he is looking around, Grack prepares himself to blast him with an energy bolt from behind. Back in the battlefield, Superman and Wonder Woman are struggling to keep the monster at bay after he took down many members of the Justice League, including Flash and Green Lantern. Batman informs Superman that he needs him in the ship. He hesitates because he wants to defeat the monster by himself, but Wonder Woman insists that he must go and she will hold Convict. Superman arrives at the ship to find that Batman has Grack bound and is interrogating him. Grack says that he will not tell them anything. Batman threatens to turn him over to Superman if he doesn't give him information about the life support system in the ship. Grack admits that he doesn't have any information to give. Superman scans the ship and finds that the sensors have not been reset since the crash. 
Wonder Woman is doing her best to handle convict when Superman returns with a device telling her to move away. He blasts the monster with a gas designed for his species to put them to sleep. But the monster holds his breath, forcing Wonder Woman to punch him to force him to open his mouth and inhale the gas which took its effect and knocked him out cold. Batman then arrives with the beast that burned a symbol into Wonder Woman's back during the fight. Shocking Morgan Le Fay, who underestimated Batman, who managed to capture her beast, although he was magically shielded. Superman questions the beast's actions, but he refuses to answer, before burning into ashes. So that was the story of the alien monster called Convict, who knocked out Superman with one single blow. Something even Doomsday failed to accomplish. Convict, however, never became one of Superman or the Justice League main enemies. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Thanks for watching, and have a nice one.